and this is what i'm talking about like my belly button is starting to come out y'all like if y'all knew me before i had it any any video and today i am doing my 18 and 19 week pregnancy update i know i didn't do one last week is because last week i felt like it was kind of the same as the week before so i was like i might as well wait until i start feeling some different symptoms or whatever so that i could let y'all know and today i'm gonna just go through my symptoms baby growth my appointment and show y'all my baby bump growth and it's really growing y'all like my belly button is almost about to poke out so I'm really going to take these belly button rings out soon. Again, I got my laptop here to, that I put my notes on that I've been like, you know, cause you know, I forget stuff. Got pregnancy brain or just Tamiri brain. I forget stuff anyways. What was I about to say? Today is Wednesday, July 10th and tomorrow I'll be exactly 20 weeks. So it'll be the official, today is the official last day of my 19 weeks. I'll probably end up posting it tomorrow or the next day since I try to post every other day, but I posted a video today. I'm trying to be consistent, y'all. But my name is Tamaria if you're new to my channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back. Make sure y'all slap that mic a little. <laughs> my name is Tamaria and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. And if you're coming back, welcome back to my channel. Um, make sure y'all smack that like subscribe button and I'll get into this video. The baby is the size of a grapefruit or a large mango right now, according to my pregnancy app or whatever. But we went to our appointment yesterday and the baby heart rate was great. The lower 150s, upper 140s. So around there, and she was moving a lot when the lady was trying to get her heart rate. So she was like, your baby's a little acrobat. She do be moving a lot though. You wanna say that moves me to the next thing I was gonna talk about, the baby's movement. Um, She's still been moving a lot, but it's like more, like at a scheduled time now. I feel like it's like she's getting used to the time she's gonna be woke when she comes out of my stomach. Like, cause she'll move. I say I notice it, like I notice it when she moves, but I'll pay attention when she moves like around 10 o'clock. And then I notice she moves around four o'clock, four something like 4.30. And then she moves around six o'clock every day. So every day she moves around those times. Um, they're getting a little bit stronger, but they still kind of feel the same. My weight gain, I'm going to step on the scale right quick. I weigh 166. I told y'all on my last update video, I lost 14 pounds in my first trimester. I gained a pretty good amount of weight. I gained all that weight back that I lost. So I'm pretty much back at the weight that I started with. I was at 168 before I got pregnant and then I lost some weight. Anyways, I got some good news y'all and I'm waiting for this letter to come in so I could tell y'all I make this video so y'all stay tuned for that. I'm so excited about it, like I'm, it's a blessing and I'm so thankful and it's just so like great how it happened, but I'm scared at the same time. So you're gonna be with me on a like, journey. <laughs> so sad. Anyways, the symptoms, um, tiredness. I haven't really been as tired, like y'all can see, I have a lot of energy now. I have energy to make videos and move around and do like what I need to do and what I gotta do. But if I stand up too long or I move too much or if it's like really hot or something, then I'll get tired sometimes. Um, I'm not really tired to where I'm sleepy all the time no more. I do sleep a lot, but I don't go to sleep till like late now. Like I go to sleep around five o'clock in the morning, which I need to fix. And then I wake up around like one o'clock in the afternoon. Vomiting and nausea haven't really been a problem with me for these last two weeks. I don't think I experienced them at all pretty much. Um, I'm not going to say they completely went away because I still take my diclegis, my nauseous pills. At nighttime, I take two of them so that the next day I don't be nauseous at all. So I don't really know if they went away on their own or is it because I'm still taking pills and I'm scared to stop taking the pills. Because when I do take stop taking pills like before, I would get sick, sick the next day. Like I feel nauseous and stuff all day. So. I'm scared to stop taking them, so I haven't really tried to stop. I've been taking these Nature Valley, the prenatal pills. I don't think I said that in my last video since I was like 15 weeks. And they don't make me nauseous and stuff at all. So if you have a problem with nausea and 
taking like prenatal pills with all the iron and stuff in them like they still got iron and stuff in them but it don't make me nauseous so i'ma share that with y'all headaches they came back i know in the last video i said that my headaches started to go away like they're not as bad as they used to be but they're like back to how they was like i'll get a headache every other day they won't be like really bad as they used to but i could like it's like a dull headache or a migraine like behind my eyes i don't know why i keep getting headaches um something new i noticed is back pain my lower back and um hip pain they've really been bugging me this last past week not really so much um the 18th week i'll really say the 19th week like i'll be sleep on one side and then i'll get this sharp pain in like the lower my lower back and it'll be like that one area but it's like ow and then it'll go away when i move to a different spot or something or lay on my back but then i looked it up and it was like it's because my uterus moved or whatever and it's like pinching a nerve or something so i guess that's what it is that leads me to my round ligament pain I've been feeling that lately. Um, I guess because my belly's growing and so my belly's growing and I start feeling the little, I feel like my muscles in my stomach relax. So I can't like control them how I used to. Like when I turn in bed, I used to be able to like flex my stomach a little bit. So it'd be like holding my belly. I don't know how you say that. Now when I turn, like if I turn too fast or move a certain way, then I'll feel pains and like it'll be on the side of my stomach or it'll be just like right on my stomach or my lower stomach. And that got to do with my real ligament pain. I still pee a lot. I still get up and have to pee all the time. And I thought when the baby moved up some or whatever they would say that I won't have to pee as much in my second trimester and it would just come back in my third trimester, but I still have to pee a lot. I still don't like drinking water, which is probably why I get headaches because I don't drink enough water. Yeah, but I drink um, G2s and the doctor said I could do that until I can drink water i need to drink water i just don't like the taste of water by itself like, i used to love water during basketball season everything i used to love water and then i got pregnant and then it's not like the water doesn't go into my body it's like it sits on top of my stomach or something i don't know but it just don't feel like it always want to come up every time i drink water so i gotta put like lemon or flavor in it you know i sleep pretty great i don't wake up as tired or nothing I noticed that my boobs are really itchy and around like my nipple, it's probably TMI, but my nipples and my belly, my areolas gotten darker. That's weird. They haven't grown though, but my boobs have grown. I'm in a D now and I was in a B. I was in a 34B and now I'm in a 34D and I could wear a C sometimes too, depending on the bra my belly be itchy and I started using um olive oil on my belly because they said it helps like get rid of some the look of stretch marks or whatever and prevent stretch marks and that's been working pretty good I eat more increased appetite yeah definitely like I could eat like two burgers and fries and before I could I don't I never really ate my fries like like the other day I ate two burgers and some watermelon and a banana and I still wasn't full but I didn't wanna I don't wanna be like huge. <laughs> like the last two weeks I've been gaining like a pound a week or two pounds a week, which is normal pretty I think pretty much. No cravings. I haven't had having no cravings. Um if anything I would say like salty food, but it's not nothing like it's just like what I want to eat. I don't know. I just been be hungry. I don't have no cravings right now. Well, finally, I think this video is long enough. I covered everything. If you have any questions, drop them down below. But I'm about to do my belly shot. And I'm too short. So this is my belly. Y'all don't mind these dirty clothes right here. It's time to wash clothes. But this is my belly with my shirt on. It kind of looked the same as last time. I feel like you do. I mean, I, I'll, I'll go back and look at the other video, but the baby is the size of a large man. I wish I could show y'all. Like, and here's my belly without shirt. And this is what I was talking about. Like, my belly button is starting to come out, y'all. Like, if y'all knew me before, I had an any in it. So it was like, in. So my belly start, my belly button starting to come out. And this is what my belly looks like. 
I get a stretch marks right there. And I've been putting olive oil up there and I feel like they got gotten better. And I had these before I was pregnant. My belly is growing. But that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope y'all like and subscribe. Continue following me on this journey. Stay tuned for my next uploads because I got some good news that y'all can follow me on that journey too. And love y'all.